Welcome back to City Focus. I'm sitting here with Jenny Rayner and Jason Brown, and they're going to talk to us a little bit about the South Georgia Film Festival. Okay, the South Georgia Film Festival's become a big thing here for VSU. This is what the what year is, is this for third us? Year. This is the third year, and um, we've grown a lot in the last couple of years. Um, talk about the the growth from 2018 to 19. Uh, well. In the last year, we've almost doubled in size. We have two screening locations now, and we'll have over 100 films this year, mm -hmm. as opposed to 40 last year. Uh, we had uh, two feature films. We're going to have five feature films this year. And uh, to a lot of people, we're going to have more parties. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the important part. Now, South Georgia Film Festival, um, this is a, good, a big thing for Valdosta, um, economic development. We're bringing in a lot of people in from all over the country because these films are coming from all over and they're going to be here for the weekend. What does it mean to the local economy of Valdosta and Lowndes County? Well, we're putting thousands of dollars back into both the hotels. Uh, we have two hotel partners this year. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're going to spend a ton of money with Georgia Beer in downtown mm -hmm. uh, on the, our opening night kickoff. Um, and, and on top of that, you know, we're having the city is helping sponsor a panel about the impact that film has when it comes to the community. So, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars back into the pockets of here in people in, in Valdosta, um, it makes a difference. And, and why should our, and once again, our local government, why should we be pushing, I guess, to get film and industry in a state, we're in the state of Georgia that it's growing. Why should we be pushing that to come down here to South Georgia and Valdosta and Lowndes County? There is so much happening in the state of Georgia, especially in Atlanta and Savannah, and we all know that. Mm -hmm. Columbus has gone ahead and put together a $5 million package to entice film to come there. Uh, the rest of the state knows this, and, and we are an open area where there's space for, for those jobs to come in. Uh, film is a clean industry. Mm -hmm. uh, if you come in and you shoot a movie, things stay the way they were when they left, oftentimes better. Yes. Uh, we're going to have the, the folks from the city of Barnesville come down and talk about sharp objects. Okay. And one of the things that they say is when they left, HBO fixed the downtown. They painted things. They mm -hmm. fixed things. Um, we could use some of that here in our economy. We have all that money coming in as well as a revitalization of just sort of an energy of, of business that's coming into your community. And Jenny, you're a senior here at Valdosta State, mm -hmm. and you've been very involved in the planning. Tell me some of the things that you guys have done. Well, this past summer, we um, sat down and we looked at all the submissions that we have gotten so far, and mm -hmm. we already had like over 100 with the summer. So um, luckily, I had a group of students that were willing to come in mm -hmm. in the summer and sit down and help me screen and kind of figure out in a, from a college perspective would we be interested in seeing this play gotcha. in our community. Okay. So. And, um, once again, you're part of the huge planning. For those who want to be involved, mm -hmm. what does it cost for us to get into the film festival on um, March 1st and 2nd, right? Mm -hmm. uh, well, if you're a volunteer and part mm -hmm. of our student organization on campus, it's 25, and that covers your t-shirt and your uh, badge. Um, but in general, admission, a day pass is $15, uh, all access pass, $40, and then the VIP is 100 Okay. And, um, what do we get that, with that VIP pass? Oh, everything. <laughs> you get all the parties, um, all the panels, all the screenings, access to the VIP room, we'll have mm -hmm. snacks, and some cool people to talk to. Okay. And the VIPs also are going to have a reception at the Turner Center for the Arts on February 28th, okay. along with the Georgia Production Partnership, the State Film Office, who's coming down to do an event that day. And at the Georgia Beer Kickoff, there's a special VIP area with special food just for those folks. Mm -hmm. And I know that um, our, our local officials and mayor and city yes. manager are very interested in this and trying to figure out how we can get involved with the um, film industry. Uh, anything else people need to know about this event and, and you know who's invited and how do we get tickets and all that good stuff? Everyone's invited. You can go to SouthGeorgiaFilm.com to buy your pickets, tickets ahead of time. Mm -hmm. But you can buy your tickets the day of. Mm -hmm. uh, but one of the things that I would encourage people to know is you know, a lot of people act like, you know, it's hard to get to campus and everything. Uh, we're going to be setting things up. You can park at the, the um, parking building here at Oak Street mm -hmm. and walk directly across to, be, to the Student Union Theater to be able to watch the screenings. Um, and we're setting up a shuttle so that people can park at City Hall mm -hmm. and that'll take them to the George Beer Com Georgia Beer Company event on that Friday night. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to seeing everybody, you know, at the, at the South Georgia Film Festival, March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, correct? Correct. Yes, sir. And we'll be back right here on City Focus.